BKB 36, Friday night. Of course, that means the wraps are off as we talk to our fighters ahead of the big show in a more relaxed, informal way. And joined now by George Taylor, who's fighting Andre Nastak, who we spoke to earlier. But George, firstly, um, what are you expecting from the Romanian? I think it's going to be a tough fight. Comes, comes to fight, definitely comes to fight. Not so much a good boxer, but he's definitely in there to fight, isn't he? He comes forward, he's game, he keeps throwing. You know I mean? You're also on the back of a good win, though. Yes, mate. Yeah, yeah, I'm on a good win. That wasn't my best performance, to be fair. It was my first fight. Just getting the feel of the bare knuckles. No, I think oh, this time you see a different different fighter in title. The, the first fight is always the getting used to yeah, the bare course. knuckles. Yeah, it's completely different, isn't it? It's completely different, I think. It's still boxing, but, you know what I mean, it's a lot more dangerous. Mm. But I enjoy it. I like it. I, I can't wait, mate, to be fair. Tell us, uh, the viewers, a little bit about what we're going to see from George Stoney. When you're at your best, what are we going to see? What are your strengths? Well, um, I think I'm a better boxer, you know? like I carry a lot of power, but... I think the boxing will set people up to actually knock people over, do you know? Because when you're rushing it, you don't really, you don't really get the knockouts. When, when you actually step back and box and take your time and land the right shots, that's when you'll get the knockouts, and that's what I'm looking for. Knockouts. The right shot's the key, isn't yeah, it? The, yeah, definitely. Not waste energy like I did last time, just throw. But I'm going to actually take my time, step back, try and actually box him, because I know he comes forward, so I'll take that away from him. Are you a big puncher? Yeah, mate, yeah. I carry, I carry power in both hands, but... I think I think anyone anyone punching your bare knuckle is going to work anyway. To be fair, isn't it? You know what I mean. But yeah, definitely, I got I got a nice punch, mate. To be fair, heavyweights, two big guys. We're not going to see dancing, are we? No, mate. No, not from definitely not from me anyway. <laughs> definitely not, mate. I'm going to come forward and fight. Are you a front foot man? Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm too big to be running. <laughs> too big for that, mate. So, so here you are, but. You know, you're going to be front foot. He's going to be front foot. Yeah, exactly. We're meeting in the middle. We're seeing see the toughest man. Who the toughest man standing? Exactly that, my buddy. Exactly that. So, tell us a little bit about your. I mean, your. I'm just looking now. White collar. You had a. Yes. Mate. I mean, you were 30 and 13 or something like that. You had a great record, white collar. But you said that BKB is about challenging yourself. Yeah, of course, of course. I, I, I think. Well, it is. I think I'm tough, to be fair. But I've never actually been tested. Like that, I want to see how much I can actually take, how much I can give. And I think this is a bit more of me, mate, to be fair. That, them gloves take a lot of, lot of the sting away, you know what I mean? When my shots land without yeah, the gloves, sure. anyone's going to feel it. And that's, that's definitely... So I suppose when you come up against a better opponent, the tougher opponent, that is the challenge, isn't it? Yeah, 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 of course, mate. Yeah, If they, if they are tougher and, and you you just got to keep going, ain't you? You know what I mean? Like There ain't no... You can't really keep yourself safe in the bare knuckle. There's no. not, there's not really a guard. Do you know what I mean? Like you keep your hands up, but things go, things go through them gloves. Do you know, easier what I mean? for easier for the lighter yeah, weights. Yeah, yeah, easier for the lighter weights. They're M heavy weights. I think it's just how much you can take and how much you can give. You know. Have you got a good chin? Yes, mate. I've, I've never been stopped yet. Wow. So I mean, I've been, I ain't never been stopped yet, and I've, I've fought some tough, tough men, to be fair. But so. Andre in the state, you saw his last fight? Yeah, I watched his last fight, um, yeah. I spoke to Tony Barrett today and he said that it wasn't so much what Andre in the stack did, but he said he wasn't, he'd, he'd come into the fight too complacent. I've, I've watched Tony's fights and I didn't think that was Tony fighting that night. I think exactly he, was, he, he was more waiting for Andre to, to land them shots, whereas if, if you take that away from him, What's he going to be like when, when you're stepping on towards them shots? Yeah. And Tony was more backing off, letting Andre land them big shots, loading them up. I ain't going to be doing that. I'll, I'll step on to him, mate, until he, if he stops me, fair play to him. But I'll keep coming until he do. Are you in his face then from the yes, start? Yes, mate, yeah, always, always. It's the only way I can for you, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> what do you hope from BKB? I just want to, mate, I, I'm young, you know what I mean? I've got, a long, I've got a long career ahead of me. I just want to take things every, every fight they come. The bigger fights that come, the better the fights that come. I'll take them, you know what I mean? But I'm here just for a good time in a minute. I'll enjoy a punch-up. And this is what way to test yourself. Two you men, don't turn fights down? No, mate, never. Never turn a fight down, ever. I'll fight anyone. Not, not, not because I think, just because I, that's who I am. I can't say no. <laughs> that's my problem. <laughs> you know I mean? you lose just, a draw, you're fighting anyway. Yeah, I'll fight. I'll fight always. I'll always fight. What, are you, what about fighting at the O2? What does that mean? Yeah, mate, yeah. From going on the white collar to the O2, it's a major difference. Even when you walk out, it's a, it's a, better, it's a better buzz, do you know what yes. I mean? People actually notice you, whereas in doing the white collar, it's not, it's not really nothing, to be fair. This is it's big. Everyone watches it. Everyone talks about it. Everywhere you go, you get spoken to about it. 
I enjoy it. I like it, to be fair. It's better. You can have a few butterflies. Everybody does. Yeah, Every no, fighter course. does. Nerves are but good. Do you, get, do you get serious nerves? Does the O2 make it worse? Or, you know, the ring walk's quite a long ring walk. Yeah. The fans, I mean, do you... What do you think when you're on that ring walk? Do you focus or do you wave to the fans? How do you, in, do you engage with them? I'm always, I'm always nervous because I think nerves are good. Nerves keep you on your toes, yeah. keep your whips about you. You're too calm, you're going to get caught. I'm always nervous, but... Well, it is the build-up's worse than the actual fight. When you're in there, you're in there. There ain't no, there ain't nothing else you can do. It's all that thinking about it. What's going to happen here? How am I going to do this? How am I gonna... At the end of the day, when you're in there, it's a fight. It's a fight. If it goes my way, it goes my way. You know what I mean? But either way, I'm pretty sure he's going to come to fight. He looks like he's going to come to fight. And that's what I want, big fights. There's a lot of great fighters and warriors watching TV and telling us all how to fight. But when that bell goes, what, you know, and... There's you and him. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Well, tell us that feeling when the bell goes. To be honest with you, all that, all that, all that stuff you done in the gym, all them people there, don't really mean nothing. Do you know what I mean? I think it's just they're not get, getting hit. Yeah, they're not getting it. It's yeah. easy to stand there and say you should do this, you should yeah. do. Go get punched, then mate. Bare knuckle boy, geezer right. that actually thinks he can fight as well. Yeah. It's not like you're going outside and having a drunk drunk pub fight, you know yeah. what I mean, with a bunch of idiots. These, these men serious. train, they train yeah. to fight. So you, it, is, it is nervous, but when you're in there, it's you and him, you know what I mean? There ain't no backing out then, you're in there to fight. And that's, that's what I want to do. I want to see, I want to test myself. You've said that because you're heavyweight, you're not a dance around, you, you're toe to toe with the guy. Fighters like that have to dig deep at times. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely dig deep. If it goes, if it don't go your way and you've been slugging it out, I don't care who you are. Most men, are, most men are gone by the second round. Yeah. But I, I can slug it out. I can. I'm, if if I'm not knackered, he'll be knackered as well. You know what I mean? I think I can slug it out. I can. I can box. I, I've got a bit of everything to be fair. I can. I can. I've got the ability to do the three rounds. I've been training hard this time, taking it serious in the gym every day. Just open, open to get the win, mate, to be fair. What we saw from Andre Nestak last time, and I know it was talking about it, but he, he seemed to be a very aggressive fighter. Yeah, yeah, straight out, isn't he? Straight yeah. out, big shots. Not really a too much of a good boxer, I couldn't say, no. but he's definitely heading big bombs from the get-go, isn't he? Definitely I think sure. he, he's, he's there to fight, but also that can, he can be silly and walk onto things. When you're coming forward, and and just, you'll be ready. I'll be ready. I'm ready to counter punch. I'm ready to keep. I ain't going to be stepping back. Like I said, I'll step forward. It'll take his game plan away from him. I believe. Last time he was, he's very bouncy, coming straight in. This time I'll be walking towards him, meeting him there. I think it'll take his little bit of game plan away from him. You know. What's BKB done for you so far? Yeah, it's changed me, mate. It's changed me as far. I'll, I'll take, I'll take it serious now. I never used to with the gloves and that. I don't really take it serious because I knew it's not such much you don't get hurt, but you can keep yourself safe with the gloves on. You can just carry the fight and like I didn't really take. Although I, although I won and I had a good, I had a very good white collar, very, yeah. very good white collar record. Like, thirty and thirty. Yeah, I fought some very, very tough men and over the years since I've been since I was fourteen years old, but. Like this is, I know you can get hurt at any moment, so you've got to try your hardest to stay switched on, to stay boxing. It makes you want to go to the gym, it makes you want to train because you know what you're getting in for. It's the night before the fight. Is it? Are you at the stage now where you think, just get the fight? I yeah. want to get on. Yeah, I was ready to do it two weeks ago, mate. I hate. It. I don't like the build-up. <laughs> the build-up's the worst part for me. But now I'm here. I'm ready. I'm relaxed. I just can't wait to get over and done with, mate. Get on to the bigger things. Well. You're well up the bill, yeah. and I think that's a, a respect from yeah, Jim, the, yeah, Jim the promoter. Yeah, He's put you up there, he, you know. So I think the, the fans could be in for a winner here. Yeah, mate, yeah, definitely. I think they're going to get a fight that the fans want to see is a good terror, and I think they're going to get this fight because he, he definitely comes to fight, and so will I. There you go, folks. There's the menu. Don't miss it. It's BKB 36. It's the O2 Arena, and you won't get a ticket. It's a sellout, but... BKBWorld.tv. Watch it. You won't be disappointed. A dozen fights to whet the appetite of any knuckle-chucking fan anywhere. We'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow, 5 o'clock start. Don't miss it.